Residents across Queensland and New South Wales are bracing for more damaging storms and flash flooding this weekend, as authorities once again warn people not to drive through floodwaters. Researchers have demonstrated just how quickly cars can get carried away by the smallest currents. Three-year-old April is not a superhero. Wow! But given the right conditions, even she's able to push a two-and-a-half-ton car on her own. Cars are very airtight these days with climate control and very good air conditioning. Because the cabin's airtight, they're also very, very watertight. And what that means is the car is like a, a bubble of air and when the car goes into the water, it just floats like a boat. With heavy rainfall expected to hit parts of the East Coast this weekend, authorities are bracing for more cases of drivers becoming stranded trying to venture through floodwaters. I don't think the, uh, the service can emphasise it enough uh, how important it is for people to stay out of flood water when they're driving motor vehicles. To drive the point home, researchers at the University of New South Wales have released videos showing a four-wheel drive submerged in a test tank and easily moved around by hand. Smaller cars in even less depth became completely buoyant, showing just how unstable they can become even in waters with flows of less than four kilometres per hour. This is the first time that a full-scale vehicle's been tested. In the past we've done everything with models, so now we have a really good handle on what sort of force it actually takes to move this sort of car around and, and the sorts of depths and flow velocities that can do that. The results of this world first experiment weren't due to be released until later this year. With more flash flooding expected this weekend, researchers decided to release their findings earlier. Just last week there were three instances of drivers dying after being swept away by floodwaters. It's largely unnecessary in many cases. Often people knowingly drive into water thinking it's shallower than it is and not realising it's actually moving. Pay attention to where you're going. Uh, don't drive into water, even if it looks shallow, because it may not be shallow very quickly. The Bureau of Meteorology is warning of up to 100 millimetres of rain in some parts of Queensland and has issued flash flood alerts for nine rivers and creeks throughout New South Wales. Manny Tsigas, SBS World News.